We've been working with Lyndon McKinley STEM Academy, three teachers who've rolled up their sleeves and started with a pilot. It's not about some magic fix program or technology. It's about how do you take a teacher with all that they have in their toolbox and give them the methods to teach in a radically different way using real problems in the community so that students learn and are prepared with the kinds of skills they need in this crazily changed world. Lynn and McKinley is the neighborhood school of some of the tougher parts of Columbus. It's exhausting, but it's rewarding. Kids are kids, no matter where you are. Sometimes our students see the bar as like, that's what to get to, not to like, reach higher than that, even though they, they could. When I approached them and said, okay, now we're gonna do a huge project that's very involved, uh, there was a lot of pushback at first. It's just vegetables and fruits, but that's it. What's the problem, Lens? Like, at first, like, no one really wanted to do this because it was just like, we're all about to graduate and like they're giving us this problem about why don't kids like vegetables, and, you know, a lot of it's like that's not our problem. My name is Maggie Griffin and we are at Waterman Farm right now and we're on the Unity Fridge program plot and we grow all sorts of fruits and vegetables. So everything here um, on our plot gets donated to different organizations that serve people living in food deserts or dealing with food insecurity. There's literally three of us last year who was like trying to plant this entire third of an acre. That's probably one of the biggest obstacles we have is making sure that we have enough volunteers. That's one of our biggest problems. And another one too is we work with Early College Academy and getting them excited about taking the produce is kind of a big obstacle. Your expectations of your students, that's the driving force of what like they do. With this, it's just like, we have a big, big thing to solve. Sorry, this person is kept up at night with this problem, so we should be too. I would say what's different from a lot of those other projects, you pretty much already have like a idea of what you're going to do. We, we had to look beyond that, so instead of just like look for the first thing we look, we seen, we look deeper than that. One of the greatest surprises and benefits I saw was that students were willing to stay after school. That students were actually willing to work on academic tests and to see each other. They were building relationships that they didn't have. That's what I think every teacher is looking for. We're looking for students who learn to develop a lifelong love of learning. Collaboration, that was the big thing. To work together and brainstorm, that was enough to get people to be like, I'm good at making graphics or I'm good at research. That's gonna be what they need at any job. Um, any school. Where it really came together and everybody's finding this, you know, fact or this information, everybody's doing surveys, doing crafts, and it's all coming together. So that was really, pretty cool. Our kids need something more than looking through a textbook. They even need more than just what I personally can offer them. I don't want them to be able to just regurgitate information that I've been giving them. We need them to actually come up with it themselves and for them to be successful outside of this neighborhood they really need those skills.